Seven famous people you didn't know were neurologists. Number one, Roger Bannister. The then almost Dr. Bannister, he was a medical student, in 1954 did what many thought was impossible, to run a mile in under four minutes. And he did it in windy conditions on a cinder track, no less. But it's a lesser known fact that that was the last year of his running career, and he went on to have a 40-year career as a neurologist. In fact, he was an expert in autonomic diseases of the nervous system, diseases that affect the unconscious nervous system that regulates things like blood pressure and sweating, diseases like multi-system atrophy and pure autonomic failure. He had over 80 scientific publications and even has a textbook on neurology to his name. Damn, Roger! And in an interview later in life, he even said he would rather be remembered for neurology than running. Number two, Sigmund Freud. The father of psychodynamic theory, you probably thought he was a psychiatrist, but he was actually a neurologist, and even published papers on cranio and spinal polyneuritis and syringomyelia. In fact, Sigmund himself had a neurological disease called neuralgia parasthetica, where the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve becomes entrapped in the inguinal ligament, causing numbness of the lateral thigh. You can't blame that one on your mother. In his writings, he described it as bilateral on both sides and significantly painful. Number three, Rita Levi Montal Cheney. This Italian senator got into politics later in life, but as a neurologist and neuroscientist, she was the real deal, even winning the Nobel Prize in 1986 for her work on nerve growth factor and its role in the development of the nervous system. She also researched peripheral neuropathy and the role of mast cells in human disease. And her longevity is legendary. In 2006, she founded the European Brain Research Institute in Rome to give opportunities to young researchers, and she started a new research project at age 98, and her final publication was in 2012, the year of her death at age 103. Number four, Viktor Frankl. In his famous book, Man's Search for Meaning, Frankl describes his experience as a captive in the Holocaust and how he was able to survive and rebuild his life. He was also a physician specialized in both neurology and psychiatry, two fields with a strong historical connection. And he described the idea that one of the keys to happiness in life is having a strong sense of meaning and purpose. And he coined the School of Psychology Logotherapy where he would help people find meaning in life. In one quote in his book, he wrote, Has all this suffering, this dying around us, a meaning? For if not, then ultimately there is no meaning to survival. In other words, if you're not doing something that's meaningful to you, then you're dead already. Number five, Oliver Sacks. The author of The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat and other beautifully written books that describe neurological disease, rich in metaphors that both scientists and the general public can appreciate, explaining neurological disease and also bringing humanity to his patients. Sachs also had an outstanding clinical career and is even associated with one of the greatest discoveries in the history of neurology. In the 1920s, he had experienced taking care of survivors of von Economo's encephalitis, an outbreak of an inflammatory disease of the brain leaving survivors with a severe neurological disease similar to Parkinson's disease. This led to the discovery that the drug Cinemet, carbidopa levodopa, could cause dramatic improvement in these individuals, and this drug is still used today in people with Parkinson's disease and can be life-changing. Sachs wrote about his experiences in the book Awakenings, which was later adapted into a movie. The title describes the incredible clinical improvement people had receiving this drug for the first time, and the movie had stars like Robin Williams and Robert De Niro. In fact, Robin Williams later developed Parkinson's disease and possibly even benefited from this discovery. Interestingly, Sachs himself described that he had a neurological condition called face blindness or inability to recognize faces 
substances known as prosopagnosia. Number six, Bill Bernstein. This finance expert and the father of modern portfolio theory actually has a PhD in chemistry and an MD and worked as a neurologist for a long time before he switched careers. He's written numerous books such as the famous The Four Pillars of Investing to help working class people save and invest money to build wealth over time and retire in dignity and avoid the high costs and scams that are abundant in Wall Street. He encourages people to have an appropriate asset allocation of index funds and to avoid speculation and market timing to build wealth over time and play the long game. Number seven, Roberta Bonder, the first neurologist in space and Canada's first female astronaut. She's also done a lot of relevant research like how the human body adapts to the low gravity environment in space and recovery from space exploration in general. She's received 28 honorary degrees and even runs a nonprofit organization on environmental awareness. So who is your favorite famous neurologist and did I leave anyone notable off this list and do you have any suggestions for future videos?